A pocket of privilege at the foot of Table Mountain and a playground for the world's wealthiest. Cape Town's coast is lined with the most expensive homes in Africa, with tourists from every continent on its beaches. But the glimmer of these mansions is glaring for those that know the other side. I mean, economically, especially where you're living in, uh, it's two different worlds. Um, I'm a tour guide personally. Um, I specialize in the township space. So I show my clients that are living here the other side of Cape Town. And I normally make a joke on saying that this is Europe and where I'm going to take you now is South Africa. And this is South Africa, the sprawling apartheid era townships of Cape Town that have changed little over the last 30 years, deprived and disconnected from the luxury of South Africa's jewel. We're right by the airport, and this is the Cape Town that most people who come here don't get to experience. Conditions are terrible, and there is a very strong smell of sewage. The smell feels more stifling with elections around the corner, and the unkept promises of politicians ring louder than ever. Uh, oh, we're not happy about the vote. The voters can come. But we're not happy because, look, I'm still in the hole. Look, I'm still in the hole. When it's raining, all the water is coming here. There's no power in this 28-year-old squatter settlement, and people here scavenge for scraps of wood to cook their food and heat their homes. Yes, no convenience of nothing. We are like people that's living in the olden days. Now we're going back to square one, making fire. I don't even want to make a fire. I'm sick and tired. This is as good as it gets for townships like Nyanga. Janitors sent by the city to clean out bucket toilets. I, it's not a drain. There's rising discontent on Cape Town's edges as the economy in the center grows. As mayor, how are you juggling the foreign investment that's coming in? There's a lot of wealth in mm. Cape Town. Huge amount. And the extreme poverty that mm. exists in the townships. That is the incredible South African phenomenon of this extreme inequality. Uh, and of course we have to welcome as much foreign investment as we can because all of that brings uh, economic opportunities to our city, brings the opportunity for more jobs. And so we have to welcome that and we have to use the money generated from that investment to spend on better services for the poor. For the thousands living in Cape Town's shacks, the disillusionment runs too deep to remedy. What is us? Uh, are we not people? Are we not part of the community? Are we not part of the society? What is, what is us? Mm. We are terrible people, they don't worry about us. We are sick and tired politicians. The government, national, local and province. We are sick and tired of them because our empty promises came and go, came and go, but they never fulfill mm. their promises. Mm. This is the Cape Town you don't see on postcards, full of despair and disappointment by the dream of a rainbow nation that fell short. Better for some, but not for all. Yusuf Bagher, Sky News, Cape Town.